Welcome back Troopers to another episode of Starship Troopers Terran Command. We finished the campaign on Kualasha, but a new threat is on the horizon. Varuna, a ferocious arachnid onslaught is sweeping through the streets of Mahanagar, one of the Federation's greatest cities. I believe this sees us at the in control of a police force trying to keep the city safe. Which appeals to me much more than the campaign on Gehenna, which saw you in charge of mercenaries, and it just didn't really vibe with me that much. I gave up midway through the campaign. So let's see if the urban onslaught can offer a challenge. Police forces on the planet Varuna are responding to a bank robbery in progress in the great city of Mahanagar. Would you like to know more? Planet Varuna, home to Mahanagar, a giant in the economic market and one of the most brightly shining cities in the Federation. Built on the Gonda River, the island city offers natural protection against the arachnid presence on the planet. While the odd stray arachnid may slip through the net, the real fight is against the criminals who seek to disturb the peaceful lives of our citizens. But justice is carried out by the likes of Officer Kayla Keyes. The local police negotiator is en route to the crime scene. We now take you live to Mahanagar to follow the progress of this story. Citizens of Mahanagar have nothing to fear thanks to the men and women of the MPD. They control troublesome situations like this one, a foolish robbery attempt now in the hands of the capable police negotiator. Easy on those trigger fingers, guys. There's a way out of this for everyone. I'm Sergeant Keats. I'm here to make sure no one gets hurt. Just let the hostages go, and I'll see to it that your concerns are heard by the Federation Judiciary. I'm not holding anyone hostage. All I wanted was to cash out my war bonds. This damn bug war is taking forever, and they won't give me my money back. I've got rent to pay, a family to feed. I know life in Mahanagar can be a struggle, but hurting innocents isn't going to solve any problems. I never meant to hurt anyone. I just need my money. Bugs? Oh no, the bugs. Made it across the river. Managed to shoot the bad guy that just wanted his money. What a mess. <laughs> Poor guy. Clear the scene of civvies. Now. So who we got here? We got Sergeant Kayla Keys. Scratch that. Radio was going haywire with more bug reports in the district. We've got to stop this from happening elsewhere tonight. Alright, we've got ourselves in command of Sergeant Kayla Keys. Police Civilian negotiator. And a couple of police squads. Got some support. Let's test out their... Oh, they got little drones as well. They have quite an effective grenade. Damage over time. Follow me. Kayla looks like she has a flashbang for stunning. Gun police squads away. have little that stun drones. Which sort of block the approach of the arachnids. Oh, that squad's in trouble. Get some grenades into that hole. It's good to be back on the field. Like I said, I didn't really enjoy the, the last uh, DLC, the Raising Hell DLC. It wasn't... It wasn't Starship Troopers enough for me. I don't really want to fight as a mercenary. I want to save people from the arachnid threat. The innocence of the Federation. We managed to save one of those squads. Get this nest destroyed. Alright, we've got a radio station here, get a base built up. 
We can send an emergency broadcast from the radio station ahead. Some supplies as well. Grab those. Let's go this way, people. We'll keep the bugs off you. Tom's base is operational, sir. Looks like there's been a change to the UI for unit selection. Construction complete. Awaiting instruction. Get those civvies secured. There's a few bugs coming. From the, garbage belt. the crowd control grenade. Seems to make pretty quick work of the arachnids while they're ma masked up. Well, the drones at least. Looks like we have another resource here. Materials. And we need materials to build our mech. We have the Peacekeeper Biped. I already like the aesthetics of these new police units. The Peacekeepers. Across all radio channels. Hope no one wanted an early night. We've got a lot more work to do. Looks like we've got a main base just up north of our position. We'll head up there and have a look. The objective is to clear the bug hives, but I do like to check the map for little secrets or extra stuff. Gate's closed and it's connected to that HQ. Is there any way in? We're in this together. No, there is not. So we're going to end up here back at the end of the mission, I think. Looks like a defensive zone. There's a bug hive near the entrance. And the walkway through there is blocked by a pipe. another radio post down here let's go over this direction there's a supply base there as well that will give us some more war support let us bring on some more troops onto the field more police officers to protect this town from the arachnid menace we are in the middle of a river but there is it hasn't said how deep the river is they're coming out from underground so no doubt they've dug underneath the expansive river. Peacekeepers just watching, as it should be. We are playing on Brutal, which is the maximum difficulty, and all of our troops do 50% of their normal damage. So we do have to be very careful. We can be overrun quite quickly. Advancing and placing fire teams in the right place will help us win the day. We are really just waiting for these bugs to be whittled away outside of the nest. I'm not going to bother clearing the hive itself. We're going to head south towards that radio post to try and get some extra resources. A couple of bug hives over there. They keep spawning drones as long as they exist. Going to send our faithful peacekeepers down to the southwest. The peacekeeper seem uh, the biped seems to act like a radio radio trooper from the standard campaign. It's got a reinforcement zone, but it seems to be quite competent as well with the grenade launcher. Bit of indirect firepower. Whoa, don't run through that. Here comes the law. So as long as we keep our peacekeeper alive, we will be able to call in reinforcements. Capture this radio post, get another trooper squad on the field. Bring one more in, police squad. They have detainer drones. And we can call in two of those. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll set up two groups. And we'll head to this most southern hive and clear it out first. It seems to be the most rough terrain. We'll get some overwatch up on the, on the pedestal here near the drawbridge. We'll have two fire teams here. Come in, digging it out. Alright, we've woken up the drone hive. Okay, 
We have nowhere near as much firepower as the MI units, but those little harasser drones are pretty good at keeping them away from our troops. So, edge our way forward. Alright, that's one hive down. Justice is our duty. Drone hives, that is. We still need to clear the main hives. I think there are two, plus a bug hive. Spreading out on the terrain a little bit. We're a bit obstructed here. We can't shoot through that debris. One of our units is caught up. We'll get him back up on the hill. We are taking some casualties here. Pulling back the injured unit. And once this wave is over, we'll call some reinforcements and then assault that mound. Pull these guys back. So we have to get over this hill. It's a big obstacle for us. Call in the reinforcements. I think there may be another drone hive just out of sight to the south. Right, so the main hive is empty at the moment, but we need to get across and clear that bug hole before the main hive regenerates. We're going to set up in a position that protects us if the main hive regenerates. Bringing it in a little bit tighter. All right, we've got some promotions on the field. Central drone, Sentinel drone deploys a bomber type unit. There it is. <laughs> Dropping hand grenades from the drone. Hmm. We sent a uh, police force into the hive, but it didn't regenerate. And so we're unable to take that. We're going to take massive losses here. We weren't quite fast enough to get troops into that bug hive before it regenerated. So we just have to wait for the firefight to stop. Keep this hole clear until our troops come back out. There's no clear terrain to call in reinforcements. Yeah, so the peacekeepers got annihilated. And that hive is going to... Oh. It's still got bugs in it though. So we're going to pull back, reinforce, and we'll push forward again one more time. We did lose a unit. We've got a unit. Calling in reinforcements from the radio post. Alright, we're fully stocked squads. We do have a couple of, prom of promotions, but we just need to get that hive cleared quickly. Now, usually once you clear a, a hive, the game will scale in difficulty. So let's see if we get another bug that we have to face. Something new, maybe. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. Nope, tanker bugs. Even the MI rarely see those brutes. This is serious. We'll need riot shield squads. I beg to disagree with her on that point. <laughs> the MI see tanker bugs everywhere, especially in the Kualasha campaign. We're heading back to our main command post. And 
and we'll get ready to leap forward and take out the other hive. Deploy a riot shield squad. It does mean we will have to send someone home. We've got a couple of abilities here. Well, what have we got? Deploy the bomber drone. A manually controlled detainer drone packed with explosives. And then we have the wacky talkie. Makeshift device creating disruptive noises and then explodes after a delay. If the device is destroyed before the timer expires, it will not explode. We are in this together. Let's hit the okay, so that seems like it might be more of a defensive measure. Throw a distraction and get the heck out of there before it explodes. We've taken both of those skills just to test them out. Here we go. Here's the bomber drone. Let's use it to scout. What nasty creatures lie up this road? We can detonate that at will. Easy done. <laughs> All right, let's get up there and take that hive down. I believe that it looks like on the map this one might have three entrances. Got our riot shield squad. Bracing their shields in a tight formation, the squad becomes temporarily immobile, but virtually invulnerable. And that lasts for 10 seconds. Immune to all types of attacks and explosions. Oh, so they can literally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a tanker. They can deploy sentry turrets when they're upgraded, or deploy a holographic decoy. They have frag grenades and shotguns, but they cannot be used from point blank with the grenades. They're immune to gas damage, and they're immune to damage from the tanker's corrosive liquid pool. Higher resistance to being stunned. Well... Looks like an interesting unit. Let's get them into the front line. Form up. Dispatch. Officers ready for duty. State your demand. En route to the crime scene. Riot shields. Ten four. Moving out. Go. We'll keep them at the front. We are expecting a tanker. Form up. And they will definitely be able to hold the line if their stats are anything to go by. Waiting instructions. Sir, Intel reports a new bug threat in our sector. All right, hives have gotten. Uh, grown in intensity. So we have to kill more bugs before they are uh, neutralized now. Wow, that was nice. A unit has been promoted, sir. We have a bit of firepower at our disposal. We just have to stay on top of the cooldowns for our special abilities. The little drones are dancing, waiting for someone to come within range, but it's not happening. We have enough firepower here to stop them getting close. Bomb drone active. Let's send it into the fray. Big radius, but it didn't seem to do too much damage. And that's the wacky talkie going off. Massive range, short throw distance. Okay, that is one hole down. We have two more to go, plus a drone hive as well. Try and get a better angle, set out a proper line. Hold directly to our north is going to regenerate at least one wave before we get in anywhere close to the main hive. Bringing up the peacemaker, or the peacekeeper. This little bomber drone dropping grenades on the arachnids before they get close is great. There is our first tanker. We'll throw out the wacky talky. See if that does any damage to him. 
It exploded before the timer was up. Right, so our right squad going forward to face the threat of the tanker. Send out a flare to do extra damage to it. Holding the line, bathed in fire. It doesn't matter. Bomb drone in, taking out all the chaff. Second bomb drone in. We better pull the right squad back. They are chipping away at it. And they aren't taking any damage. Casualty or two. Whereas the standard infantry that run through the pool of fire certainly do melt. Reinforcements inbound. Just as a fresh wave of arachnid reinforcements arrive on the field. We are tightly bunched at the moment. Trying to get some firepower onto that drove net, drone nest. Another wave from the hole. Spread out. Okay, so it is just the two holes, but we have another drone nest to take out. So that won't be too much of a concern. As long as we don't get completely surrounded. Stun grenade is out. Trying to find a reinforcement zone. Right, let's get close. Let's put some massive damage on this drone hive. Very good at suppressing the arachnids. I like this build. These simple arachnids, anyway. Bomber drone into the mass of arachnid drones. Fighting drones with drones. I do think that the tiger bugs will make short work of these police forces, though. There is a third hive. I was right in my suspicion. A little bit too early on the stun grenade. And a little bit too late with the flare. Guys on the hill here are suffering some casualties. Pull them back. Right squad have reached their promotion. We might go with the sentry turret. Seems more useful. Reinforcements for the remaining forces. That turret has no longevity. You might want to throw it behind your riot squad so they can tank all the damage. Bomb drone out. Don't explode in the midst of our own men. They did that and blew up someone. Alright, we've got this under under control now. Let's get someone into the hive. Alright, we can get more troops on the field. Now let's re... Ah, my head. What's happening to me they're in your head was that the underground it felt like i was there and something else was with me i need to check it out veterans of the koalasha campaign will be aware that the brain bug is capable of getting inside your head from a distance perhaps that's what's happening to our friend here sergeant keys who knows Perhaps we should go and find out. So let's go and check the sewer entrances. 
because going into the sewer is certainly a safe thing to do when we know the bugs are coming from that area, from the underground. We have used up all of our points, so we are at full capacity for troops. Let's send a bomb drone down there as a scout, in case we get ambushed. Bomb drone away. Okay, there's nowhere for the bugs to spawn. I think it'll be safe for us to go down here. Bit of a death zone if we get surrounded. Come in, dispatch. Follow me. Officers ready for duty. Peacekeeper standing by. Keeping an eye out for threats. Keep watch out here. I'm going in. Oh, she's going alone. Damn Even it, better. Kayla, <laughs> getting yourself into now. Well, I certainly hope move. there are no bugs down here. Let's move. Kayla only has a grenade launcher. Let's go. So we have to fight this anything. Definitely what I saw. But it feels more familiar than that. It will be stun and run. Follow me. Let's go. Investigate the gloomy passageway in the sewers. I used to get in trouble as a kid for playing down here. Is that what I'm seeing now? Let's go. But Let's why? Go. Oh, she's an old Let's sewer go. rat, hey? Traipsing through the crap as a child. A brain bug? How is that possible? Uh oh. This will need to be called in right away. Many more lives are in danger. Shoot it. Shoot it. <laughs> Let's get back to the station, team. Federation Brass needs to know what's coming this way. Sure as heck do. Let's get back to base. So we already know where the main base is. We explored that earlier. Police Department HQ. Looks like we have to be let inside. Another wave of bugs inbound. Just drones. Alright, pull back everybody. Bugs are faster than the biped, so I need to keep that in mind. You can't really retreat. The bugs are headed for the police station. Get up those walls. We have a technician who can build auto cannon turrets. Tiger bugs spotted on the move. Get turrets on the wall to slow them down. We'll keep the peacekeeper in the uh, in the main square. We've got an ammo dump. All the buildings we need to build all of our troops. We've got a material case here. We've got an elevator up to another platform. We've got troops up on the wall using an elevator. Okay, there's no actual walkway up. We'll get a tower. A turret up on the top of the tower. And a second one on the other side. We have plenty of materials, but they cost 15 each. Here they are. Let them have it. It's the Got one more here. Grab that. That's for a total of three oh, turrets Bob available. Inbound. Yes, sir. Construction complete. Better hurry up if we want to get those built. Put the right squatter up next to the turret. That way the bugs won't be able to get to it. Set all turrets to focus their fire on those tigers. Peacekeeper can make it up onto the wall. That's nice. We have too many infantry on this wall. We need to get some in the elevator. Well, actually, it might not be a lot because there's tigers on the wall. Shit. Get some grenades down on those guys, please. Do not want those up there with you. The auto cannons overheat very quickly. I thought you could build a tower there, but you cannot. So we'll put it on the wall here. 
So they have we overlapping have fire. The that came here for Riot Squad held off that attack pretty well with the turret. Back on the walls again. There is a tanker inside already. Just burst straight through the door. Got a fresh riot squad. We have enough funds to bring one out. Oh, trying to keep Kayla safe. They are overwhelming us. We just don't have enough firepower. Put the turrets in the main square. We lost our original technician squad. Kayla's desperately on the radio inside the HQ trying to get a hold of Fleet Command. She's a mission critical unit, so we're keeping her safe. This riot squad is about to lose all its men, fighting the tanker in the square. We need to get some reinforcements on them soon. See if the crowd dispersal grenade works on the tanker at all. Get some reinforcements. Oh, there's one left. We hit the reinforcement button just in time. Fresh squad rushing out of the locker rooms. So they've managed to really lock down that tanker. Let's get our other... Oh no, the other one up on the wall is being blown up by a friendly grenade. There's a misclick there on the special ability. So we need to reinforce that guy. He's our veteran squad. Keep building the turrets. We lost our peacekeeper uh, biped. We'll send both squads here to face this last tanker. It's just mauling us. It wasn't very tidy. We're a little bit inexperienced. We've been away from the field. But considering that our troops are in fact just for peacekeeping duties and criminal investigations, I think we've done an amazing job to hold off the tankers. Is that the mission done? Reinforce everybody in case it's not. Get some more turrets up. I'm getting everyone off this damn island. I think that might be it. So it appears that the first stage of the urban onslaught has been a victory for humanity. If you would like to see more of Starship Troopers, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you on FedNet.